one. So this part is actually taking shape and we are learning process. And now it's about taking the outside shape and then bringing them in so they're perfectly smooth. So they hit that perfect tolerance. So you can just run your finger on it and it's just gonna be so nice. Now there's a process in this also. So we went Harvey Alterated X and then we went End Mill. And now we're coming in with Beast of a Ball Mill. It's a six flute Harvey three ball mill from Kenna Metal. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna actually do a pre-finish. So this first path is a water line. The water line just comes in nice and smooth. It just cuts this slope right here, okay? We're not flat, but we're not too steep. So the next thing we're gonna do is just start coming in and start tackling the pockets, okay? So we're doing an equal scallop. We're just coming all the way down, same thing, 30 thousandths, just roughing it. We're doing one pocket, then we're simply taking that pocket and then we're doing transform, rotate, and copying it and placing it on the other sides. Now this bowl right here also is perfect for the water line. So we're using the water line tool path. So now that this is complete, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the floor because it's flat and we're gonna use a raster tool path. And we're just gonna go right across this floor. And we're just gonna raise up just a little bit to have a nice blend. Now you see, we're doing different tool paths, okay? So we started out with a water line. We went to an equal scallop. We used the equal scallop on all of the pockets. Then we went back to water line. Then we went to raster. The raster's coming out perfect. And now we're going back to water line because of the angle on it. And now we're going all the way around the park. It's looking beautiful, right? So check this out. 30,000 step overs, full 3D passes throughout the entire part. But now when you look at the pockets, when you look at this slope right here, when you look at all of it, it's just taking shape and it's looking really good. So our pre-finished passes are complete. Now we're gonna come back with a finishing tool, all right? And we're gonna do the same passes but our step over when surfacing the part, instead of 30 thousandths, we're gonna pull it back to five thousandths just to make it absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Now, when I usually run titanium, we're at, you know, the three to 500 surface foot, okay? You're gonna instantly see that we're actually way up at 800 surface foot. Why 800? Because it's a ball mill and because I'm taking a tiny little cut. My feet per tooth is 0.0012. That's a feet of 30. And now it's about beauty. Now it's about just coming in and kissing that baby into spec perfectly. So we got a surface foot of 833. We got a spindle speed of 6,367 feet per tooth, 0 0.0012, and our feed rate inches per minute is 30 inches per minute. It looks beautiful, it looks beautiful.
Now we're going to an equal scallop toolpath for these pockets. And that's because we're dropping straight down into the pocket. And I just want to just keep walking around, walking around all the way down. So this thing is perfect, okay? My tool is the exact same tool. It's the same surface foot, 833. Now my feed for tooth has actually changed though, okay? So now we're at 0 0.0006, which puts the feed rate at 15 inches a minute. I just wanna slow it down, drop in slowly, knowing that once I hit that bottom, it's gonna start hitting some different parts of the tool I just don't want to be too aggressive here. And as I said, kiss that baby right into spec, okay? Oh, uh, so now this big old bowl right here. We're back to waterline as I explained before. We're back at 30 inches per minute, okay? Because we're not in these like deep pockets over here. It's a nice and gentle slope right here. And therefore, we went back to 30 inches per minute. So same thing, 833, everything's perfect. I picked all of these surfaces right here at a ball track and uh, it is looking beautiful. All right, so I just wanna stop the camera so that I could show you in process the difference between the pass that we did with 30,000 step overs and now the pass where we're doing 5,000 step overs, all right? The contrast is amazing. And I'm like a big kid when it comes to these things, right? Because it's like so awesome. You're taking a raw stock of titanium, you're roughing, roughing, boom, boom, coming to a semi-finish, and then you come in and finish it, and, the, and it looks so smooth and beautiful. Especially now when you see the rough material and the finished material, you see that contrast, it's amazing. Now, let's talk about the raster a little bit, okay? So when you look at the tool, you still see that my feed rate, my inches per minute is at 30, okay? Because I'm only taking 5,000 radial cuts, right? And we're barely taking any material, so it's okay. When it comes to a ball end mill, on this raster, I'm using the very tip. And that's at the kind of the weakest point is the very bottom of this end mill. That's where the flutes join and you lose a few of them. So when it comes to ball tracking and surfacing complex geometries, you always want to have a tilt. Like you want to take the end mill and you want to tilt it at like 15 degrees or 10 degrees, 20 degrees, depending. So you're using the side of the end mill. On this particular machine, this is a horizontal. Like, you know, if I wanted to make it more complicated than it needed to be, I could have tilted the entire palette at 15 degrees and hit it from that side. But that just doesn't make sense to me for this part. So we're going straight down on it. We're taking small cuts, boom, boom, boom. Everything's coming out good. All right, now we're coming down and we're doing the final 3D water path stepping around this the entire part on the outside oh this part is looking beautiful so good after this i just have a simple little contour and uh the part this whole side is going to be done Before I get off of Mastercam and finish this video, I just want to tell you guys, the Aerospace Academy, it is amazing. We put a lot of hard work into the Aerospace Academy. It is absolutely amazing. We're going to be teaching this on an even higher level. So part after part after part, the entire process from strategy to figuring out the material, to checking out the AMS specs, to building fixtures, to all the tool pass and inspection. We're teaching you all of it in the Aerospace Academy. 
aerospaceacademy.com. So check it out. Oh man, it's so exciting. Like, check out this thing. Like, so beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Love it. Oh, what a crazy experience, right? We took a 150 pound beast piece of titanium, locked it into this shunk chuck, and just got after it. Took big tools to small tools to intricate tools to the ball mill and just surfaced it absolutely beautifully. And that is the absolute beauty of a perfect process right there. To end, I just want to say, Hopefully throughout all the videos, through the tutorials, through all of it, I hope you guys learned a lot. Boom, there it is, manufacturing on a high level. I love you guys, I'm out, boom. T minus three, two, one, zero, ignition, liftoff.